where Casey actually has Reno still on the board after the sort of response turn. And I was just going to say, God, I'm good at this. I was just going to say, having the minion oh, opens up finder. cards like Shadow Flame. Cards no like Shadow cards Flame. Cards like Shadow yeah. Flame, exactly. Combined with Power Overwhelming on this board specifically. So this is insane. This is why normally Steve. that was a mistake. What? What? Wow. What were we saying about Casey? I mean, that was the slowest turn we've seen him play this yeah. entire series, and that's... Yeah, I like this line from Nyria, which is just... It's just strictly better versus what's happening, right? Right, just use these spells purely to put them in the Yog Bank. There's yeah. no other reason this is happening. And also make Rag worse. Right, and then at the same time, you generate the 1-1 one -one tokens on the board. Wild Growth is perfect. That's two more spells and another token, so... What's going to be key, though, or what I was looking forward to was Naria's face when he sees the second rag. So I do hope that happens in this game. I mean... <sighs> this is where we're going to find out a lot about Casey as a person. Like, is he willing to live for the meme? And it appears oh, that he is. Go, see, He's just going to drop Nari's double face. rag Sun Fury and say, all right, you are going to need some mother of Yogg-Saron to deal with this board, but... I believe that is exactly Ooh. what we're going to see. Okay, and the second rag did actually kill the teacher, which is, you know, probably, well, the best target on the board that was available there. Yep. So not too bad overall, but now, what is the option for Nyria? We do use the card of the heavens that seems to be on the screen at the moment, but we'll deal with that soon. Um, is this just Yogg? It's hero power, innovate. Yeah. It's hero power, don't attack, innovate, Yogg. Because like even if they if you could just swing face first, it's correct to wait in this situation because you can get other spells that buff the amount of damage your attack is gonna do. Yeah. Boom! Shadow flame, job done. done. Yogg, easy. Yo Yogg easy. Done. Easy. Wow. Oh I'm God. just gonna absolutely no sell that pub because it's wow. horrible. That was good. No, it Come wasn't. On. No. God, okay. That that being nice to me didn't last long. It did didn't. It? No. Oh well. I'll take what I can get. Everything else not doing too much, but there's, you know, the, the real thing for Nyria here is he cleared the board. Yeah. Like, nothing else had much of an impact, but you dealt with the two Ragnaros on board. So Why do the job in eight spells if the first one will just get it done? Just speed it up. Just do the first one, it stops, it's like job done. Okay, so Emperor and the Senjin on the board, like, not looking too great. I'm not actually sure which secret was played. Did you catch it? I didn't. Okay, that's why he's not bothered, right? So yeah. is going to cause issues regardless. He's just resigned to the fact that he's going to play Yogg. He's going to see what happens. If he call the wild a few times, then he's got this. You know, if not, then we'll, we'll <laughs> have, have to see. He's going to need more than a few. <laughs> call of the Huffers. Yep. It'll work. Yeah, I mean, seven Animal Companion Huffers is, in fact, lethal right now. He'd have to get rid of that pesky totem <laughs> first. So, if you know, we could just quickly lightning bolt that and then cast okay. seven Huffers. Now we're there. Quick prayer to Yogg, and we're going to see what happens. All right, let's go. Ooh, Boom! Okay. Good start. <laughs> Casey, vi visibly upset. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I was almost about to say... Eye for an eye. To an extent, it really doesn't matter that much what this Yogg does because he'll still lose to Jaraxxus. <laughs> Who will still lose to Jaraxxus? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That mind vision was oh absurd. God. And this vaporize as well if he ate three Oh, shield sure block's bad. Shield sure block is a problem. In the upper part of the bracket. And also, you know, he just finishes the game out. You know, he just right. does, gets it done. Something me and Lorinda were talking about is the fact that these guys have to play so many games in one day. If you can close games out quickly, more time to rest and, like, relax and prepare for your next match. Yeah, so no, <laughs> still, he's going to use every single fraction of this turn that he has here. And this game, which has generally been played at a pretty frantic pace, has slowed all the way down here. <laughs> to a crawl. And it looks like Nyria is going to go with the Preserve Jaraxxus play. This was my instinct. I didn't want to stop and just allow the, the broadcast to fall into dead silence as I scribbled in my notepad <laughs> and worked out the maths of how this was going to work. But my instinct was holding Jaraxxus was better. It may be wrong, but Nyria has taken his time to work it out, and that's the line he's gone with as well. Yep, he's going to be able to trade in now, buff his hard zeal up, and it means he can trade into the Bane if he wants, but it doesn't matter because, you know, you just need to take off as much damage as possible, but as you said, I think this is a real problem now because there's even eye for an eye on 
So if he Draxes to face to try and do some form of race, it's gonna take three yep. more damage. Yep. It was like the perfect setup of secrets with redemption and eye for an eye. And there it is again, like Casey decides that he needs to try and get the extra value out of Juraxus. And Casey Casey is the is the player in this position that doesn't have the full equation. He doesn't know what the secrets are. Yep. He knows that the mind vision is a 50-50 between a zealous initiate and Juraxus. And I'm pretty sure he's confident based on what's happened on the previous turns that it's Juraxus and not the initiate. Yep. But he's the guy playing against concealed information here, whereas Nyria knows everything. Yeah, and also, even with the Drax is trying to go for the 6-6, six, six, doesn't matter, because Vaporize is the other secret as and well. And for an eye. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, there's just no good option. Yeah. Here we go, Drax is going to get played, but I imagine this is now when Nyria answers with Draxus. Oh, can he take one more turn? Uh, he, not sure what the fatigue was I actually. have actually lost track of the yeah. fatigue as well. I think he's either on four or five, but I mean, either way, Jaraxxus here locks the game up, so you may as well just yeah. do it at this point there. It's five fatigue, so he needs to Jaraxxus this turn anyway. That is just going to be game for Nyria. What a crazy ending. I'm not going to deny that Yogg-Saron is exciting, yeah. but I mean, the, the level of happiness between Nyria and KC right now based on the outcome of that game, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... So there are already about 40 players that have been eliminated. You can see on your screen that there's actually some big names. Show has been eliminated. Cypher has been eliminated. In a moment, you'll get to see, yep, Mr. Yagut has been eliminated. Lorinda, what's going on, man? Well, there's a lot of big names in this tournament, so they can't all win. Um, we are seeing here there are some of the lesser-known players coming through, but, you know, we've already said that a lot of these guys have played a lot of open play. They're not... Yeah, they're in the top 128 for a reason. Yeah, and uh, one of uh, those tavern heroes to note, uh, you were talking to me about Admire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Admire, last season, um, I don't know if he was a tavern hero last season or if he was an HCT points qualifier, but he went 6-2. and two. Like, he's not far from at all getting to the championship.